Now I leave the stage for Professor Manuel to give the take the home message. Can you start, Professor? Thank you very much, uh, Professor Mohamed Al Tahan. Now I am presenting the take home message for you, very, very, very clear about multimodal analgesia. What we now nowadays we use different uh, drugs, different techniques, different levels. But what is what is right now? The right is that we change from open surgery to uh, uh, thoracoscopic surgery or robotic surgery, and we try to avoid or to, to reduce the use of opioids, especially when we use ultrasound-guided local regional drugs. Second is multimodal analgesia, incorporate uh, a lot of non-opioid analgesic, which uh, have a synergistic, synergistic, sorry, synergistic effects, with opioids, providing superior analgesia and decreasing the opioid requirement and the incidence of side effects. Acetomifen, uh, paracetamol, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs should be administered always as part of, of multimodal, multimodal analgesia. Ketamine and desmetomidine should be used in patients with high risk of chronic pain. Magnesium and lidocaine infusion nowadays uh, has a strong evidence to use, but can reduce the, intensive, the intensity of the acute pain. The use of gabapentin is not use, useful to reduce the acute pain, but it could be useful in patients, patients with persistent post-thoracotomy pain. And finally, pregabalin is not useful in this type of patient and surgery. What about troncular and interfascial blocks in robotic surgery and uh, video-assisted sur surgery? Nowadays, uh, we know that paravertebral block provide an excellent analgesia in bats and rats, and continuous catheter techniques may provide non-inferior analgesia to thoracic epidural analgesia with fewer adverse effects. Intercostal nerve block is a useful block, especially in a multimodal uh, regime uh, 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 protocol, because reduce the use of opioids during the first 24 hours postoperatively. Currently, the guidance indicate that paravertebral block and erector spina brain block are equally recommended in minimally invasive thoracic surgery. And the serratus anterior uh, brain uh, block uh, is, uh, is very interesting, but is the second option during and after thoracic surgery. It's very easy to, 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 to apply and it has a low potential side effects. And finally, what about the chronic pain, postoperative chronic pain and postoperative shoulder pain? Our Conclusion is that the etiology of chronic pain after thoracic surgery is multifactorial. The main risk factor for its development is the severe, severe acute pain in the postoperative period. This is the reason because it's very important to control the acute pain. And what about the shoulder pain? The shoulder pain is typical after thoracic surgery procedure, is related with the phrenic nerve and is related with the a tissue trauma next to the mediastinum, diaphragma, and pericardium. In fact, the phrenic nerve reduces or, or a, a relief the shoulder pain, but not, not, not is uh, relieved by using epidural, a thoracic epidural block. The most effective regional technique in the literature is the supraclavicular phrenic nerve block. And uh, the appropriate dose of drugs like gabapentinoids, antidepressants, local anesthetic uh, and local regional tanks may potentially reduce the severity of both acute and chronic pain for this type of surgery. And finally, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoy during this meeting. And now, Professor uh, uh, Mohamed El Tahan is going to present the conclusion and present the next events uh, organized by IACTAI. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Professor Manuel Granel, for your efforts and for supporting this unique seminar. It is unique because it is the first ever IACTIC seminar, which is organized by one of the hosting centers 
for eactic training exchange programs at uh, is notably as the general hospital of university de valencia was also the first eactic accredited hosting center for training exchange programs in 2017 and the, this seminar episode was supported by them as well and i would like to thank um, all speakers for their terrific uh, work and their exciting talks tonight special thanks to all audience to coming during the summer holidays and attending this live event special thanks as well to the organizers behind the stage from am group and the acting secretary for their terrific work to organize this seminar i am uh, delighted to announce about uh, the next meeting which is the annual congress of eactic we are looking to welcome all of you in budapest between october 11 to 13 2023 and have a nice um, lovely evening uh, before i close i would like to remind you you will receive a link for the feedback survey you have to complete this feedback survey to claim your certificate and uh, also for all questions it will be answered and posted on the eactic website so follow the website page for the answers later on thanks so much for your time and have a lovely evening bye bye